This is your boy Nose Gamer, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, the the team that sees the market crash. We're going to be talking about investments um, and trading methods now that you can do leading up to the the uh, team of season market crash and team of season being announced. We're also going to talk about what you should be doing with your teams, selling and buying, and all that stuff. And we're also going to be talking about the path to glory stuff that just got announced. Um, if you're new to the channel, you want to learn the best trading methods. If you want to become a foot millionaire. Or guys, if you just want to uh, help with your squad, help building your squad, or if you have any questions about foot trading, investments, all that stuff, guys, hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that bell to right subscribe button, turn on my post notifications. Also, check out my Twitter. The link is in the description, at Nails Gaming. Um, DM me anytime about any game, Fortnite, FIFA, Madden, really any game, guys. Investment tips, squad builder tips, you need help with a squad. Anything, guys, just DM me. And also, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Nails Gaming. The link is in the description. I'll be streaming for FIFA and Fortnite on that as well. Also, guys, lastly, can we uh, go check out my vlog, Entertainment and Prank channel. The link is in the description. The name of that channel is Deontay Nails. We're going to be getting out some vlogs and pranks for y'all soon. Um, and can we get 30 likes on this video, guys? But into the video for today, guys, Path to Glory players first. Um, what, what this basically is, is this um, EA announced that... Um, well, let me let me get to the basics first. So, Path to Glory players, guys. If, if you didn't know, the Path to players, the Path to Glory players are literally just players that got cards that um or that that are on the fence for making the World Cup team. So basically, guys, like um, Higuain, he he has a couple players in front of him like Messi, Aguero, um, Diabala, like players that the Path to Glory players are players that aren't sure if they're gonna make it into the um into that uh, World Cup team, but they're really good players as well because Gabriel Jesus, he has some talent in front of him. Um, just different players like that that have talent in front of them that aren't, aren't sure if they're going to go to the World Cup or not. Um, but EA announced that if the player does get um, – if a player does advance into the World Cup team this summer, starting June 3rd, every game or like every so often when they play good in the World Cup, they'll get upgraded cards and, and that Path to Glory card will upgrade. So that will lead to um, really being able to trade with those cards during the World Cup. So it's going to be interesting to see about that. And also, it's, they're really good to trade with right now, guys, because if they get informs right now, their um, informs go, then their Path to Glory card goes up to the informs. And so the prices go up um on those cards but so th th those are basically like one to watch cards right now and they will continue to be like one to watch cards so guys those are always good, good ways to make coins trading path to glory cards and one to watch cards are always good good um good methods to trade and make coins guys here's the big thing should you liquidate your team is, is a question i'm getting a lot liquidating your team um i would say if your team is not have this is tough because i don't want to I don't want to be the guy that prohibits y'all from playing weekend league and makes y'all panic sell because a lot of traders do make their subscribers panic sell because they make them afraid. But we'll get into that in a second. We're gonna go over investments first. Uh, let's go over. Let's go ahead and go through investments first, guys. For those people who have already liquidated their teams and they want to make coins, and and we're gonna go over these because these methods right now, guys. Basically, the market is all over the place, guys. Some cars are crashing, some cars are rising, um, and. I want y'all to be able to make coins 100%. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the team of the week. This team of the week is really good for investing, guys. You have uh, you have Lingard, you have um, um, Arnautovic, Paulinho, Iniesta, David Alaba, which is not a good investment. Don't invest in him for investment purposes. Miranda, James Riguez, um, Klosinac. You got a couple of bench guys that are good investments, guys. I put out a full... Um, investment video on my channel for this team of the week, guys. If you're going to invest in this team of the week, invest fast because those prices are already starting to rise a little bit. So every week, guys, when there's a team of the week, they they're always invest Sunday, Monday after squad battle rewards come out. That is the best time to invest. You can pick up those cards, hold them for a week, maybe a week and a half, and sell them off for profit. Um, and the, the really, the more expensive the inform, the more they'll go up. Um, so, guys, you can make some coins doing this. And this is what I'll be putting my coins into because, as you just saw, I'm selling off the rest of my players. Um, if you can make a team with untradeables, then I would say, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, you can also... Um, you can also invest in the marquee matchups every week. For those people who don't have a lot of coins uh, and you're just kind of starting to trade or, or if you're not selling your team and you still want to get in on a trading, you can invest in marquee matchups. Start investing in those every week. I put out a, I literally, guys, I put out a marquee uh, matchup prediction and investment video 
and a team of the week investment guide every week for y'all. Literally, people there are traders on Twitter who charge for those that information, and I'm giving them to y'all for free right now. So, guys, take advantage of it. Check out my videos um, over the the team of the week investment guide and and market matchup investment guide every week, and start trading. It's literally easy. You just gotta watch my video right now. How much I say you should be paying for an inform, and go pick them up. Like it's free coins. Uh, but as for as for selling your team, guys, this is what I'll say about selling your team. I would say be very cautious um, about holding on to players right now because the market is starting to drop because they are YouTubers um, like Madison Gamer, Run the Foot Market. All those guys are starting to kind of they're, they're making market crash videos and it's causing a market to, to crash pre um, pre pre team the season. Like I don't think that we, the market should be crashing this soon. Um, if if there were no YouTubers and if there were no uh, traders, the market wouldn't be crashing as soon. People would kind of know um, off the top of their head that the that team of the season get ready to come out, but the market would not be crashing as soon. Um, but I would say if you're not playing foot champs, if you're not like a top foot champ player, like if you're not getting elite in foot champs every week, if you're not just uh, if you're not getting a elite, if you're not competing to go to events, it's no point in having a team right now unless you just unless you're happy with your team. If you're happy with your team, you have coins in the bank, you're just chilling. Go ahead and invest. But I mean, it, it, let's say that you have a two two three million coin team and you're playing foot champs, but you're not really content on a team and you're not for sure that you want to keep this team for the rest of FIFA. Go ahead and sell it, guys. I mean, if you if you're gonna take a million coin hit, go ahead and sell it now and trade and get back up. Get that million back, and then I mean, a million coins will go so much farther now than it would a couple months ago. So I mean, think about it, guys. Ronaldo was 1.7 million a couple months ago. Now he's 900k. So I mean, like what I'm trying to say is, Ronaldo, all these big name players, guys, they're gonna crash. Like last year, Ronaldo was the same price as he is at this time, and when team of the season dropped, he was 700,000 coins, guys. He went all the way down to 700. He went from a million to 700 in like a month. So. I'm just wanting to let y'all know that if you hold on to your team, that there is a possibility you will lose your butt off. And the more you lose, the less likely you're wanting to sell those players. And if you do want to change your teams, if you want to buy players during the World Cup, these all these cool World Cup cars that are going to be, that are going to be coming out, and especially with the World Cup mode coming out, guys, you want to have coins for this. You don't want to have a team that's just decreasing in value and sitting there. So, I mean, sell your team now and start trading. That That's one of the, my best advices that I could give y'all. Um, I'll be here to help y'all. There'll be there'll be inf uh, team of the weeks every week, marquee matchups every week. There'll be man of matches every so often. We have prime icon SBCs getting ready to come up. We have um, what else do we have? I'm trying to think. We also have um, player of the month coming up. We have league SBCs hopefully coming up that you can make a lot of coins off of. So we have a lot of different um, we have a lot of different trading avenues that are coming up and that are are here for. So we we just gotta take advantage of them and trade. And, and we'll be good. But like I said, if you're not playing foot champs, if you're just chilling, even if you are playing foot champs, sell your team, liquidate your team, guys. That is my personal advice. I'm liquidating my team. I'm not really playing foot champs at the moment, though. So, I mean, guys, sell your team. If, you, if, you, if you're not happy with your team or if you are happy with your team but you don't want to lose coins, sell. Because the market is about to crash. I'm just trying to warn you all. The market is starting to crash already. Um, so, Take take the easy way out. Go ahead and, and sell your team and start investing. Um, and as for um, as for people who are asking me about the Prime Icon SBCs when you should be doing them, you should have done them um, over the weekend because the Prime Icon SBCs are a lot easier to do when the screen cards are boosted and the screen cards were boosted over the weekend because of the team ratings and 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 the cards the screen cards helping you uh, be able to. Um, also, guys, right now is a great time to do those um, those prime icons still simply be simply because we have those all those upgrade SBCs. We have the the icon SBC out. We have um, the eighty six eighty nine rated upgrade SBC out. We have a lot of SBCs out that you can do to offset costs. Like I mean, think about it. if you had to buy seven icons, it would cost you several million coins. You can do seven icons from with that icon SBC for like one point. For like 1.1 million, I think it's two two hundred fifty thousand coins per um, icon SBC. So I mean, it's it's a lot cheaper right now, guys. Especially with that icon SBC out. When that thing leaves, guys, that that those prime icons are gonna be really expensive to do. Um, but 
That's my personal advice, guys. You're going to be seeing all these. The fun part is, guys, if you if you do sell your team and trade, you're going to be able to afford these really nice cards like Inform Ronaldo, Inform Messi, and stuff like that. So let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Should you Are you selling? Are you are you selling and investing? Are you keeping your team? And What, what are y'all doing? Let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out.